On a crisp San Francisco evening in the summer of 2017, Oakland-based Chicana performance artist Sandra Ibarra transported us through a wormhole of time and space to inhabit a lost realm of queer feeling she called the hookup displacement, bar hopping, drama tour. Those things frequently uh, work together. Um, winner of the 2018 Queer Art Prize made possible through a partnership with HBO, Ibarra's performance piece consists of a pop-up walking tour in which she invites community members to join her in revisiting queer, Latinx, and lesbian historic sites lost to gentrification in San Francisco's Mission District, reenacting the vibrant bar hopping scene of queer and trans immigrant communities that used to dominate this neighborhood before the tech boom of the 1990s. Advertised on Facebook, the posting read, I can still hear the music, feel los dedos, smell the sobacos, and see the drag queen mugre on the walls of our old neighborhood haunts, even after they've been resurfaced as sterile establishments. I know you can too. You just need a little motivation. Let's invade, resurface, imprint our titties, besos sucios, and pleasures on the phantom walls of our adored queer nightlife venues. Now, the language of the invitation announces exactly for whom this event was created. Those of us willing to transform her sensory incantations, the pungent stench of armpits, sobacos, the sticky filth of mugre, mugre literally is sticky filth, the sloppy wetness of dirty kisses, besos sucios, into a performance of radical presence, able to reach for joy and each other. Ibarra's invocation of our adored queer nightlife venues summons an imaginary space of queer brown commonality. It enacts an open invitation to join the party and the movement for another kind of sexual future. Identification here is not about ethnicity or sexuality or even a common history. Instead, it is about a shared sensorium, a collective recognition of belonging that might endure in the afterlife of gentrification.